standing position. So the feet we call a nine point. Okay. So you have one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine point. Okay. So when you stand, you have to feel your feet touch the ground, the nine major point. Okay. And that is a very important part. And um, the spiral, so when you feel your legs firm, you start it to spiral. We call screw to the ground. Very important. You have to learn that it's an ongoing learning. It's an ongoing learning. So the right foot is screwed this way, and left foot is screwed. Okay? So, it's, so it's screwing this way and you feel you are more firm. Don't use too much force at one time. Beginning, don't use too much force, just screw down, screw, okay? And um, first feel your, your, just feel you stand, and feel your feet, okay? So feel your feet, the night part touching the ground, okay? Um, the way that you stand, going to matter a lot in your life, okay? Because in this nine point, uh, plus together is the 18 point, where all our weight are stacked on, okay? So the way you're going to distribute the force is very important, okay? Now, and if you can spread your toes out, your toes. So you see, the nine point, the five point take the five toes take five points, <laughs> you see? So it's very important. The, the five, okay, and you have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the rest of it is a lot. So that way the toes is very important because the toes take the rest of the force. So when you, when you spread your toe out and you stand, okay, and you feel your force, now, you slowly shift the force to the heel, to the small ball. This one you call small ball, this is a big ball, and the toes. And you shift it to the toes. And you send back, and you shift. Now, you're gonna see a different force there, a different shipping of the force, okay? And uh, you're gonna feel a different connection of the feet, because the whole body weights are stacking on all these nine points. Okay, they are stacked on it. So when you stand wrong, you put the weight not distribute out, one pace is going to hit more force, and you're going to get leg pain. So that's why learn how to shift and feel the, the, the weight distribute evenly. So that's number one. Okay? The next thing is the, uh, the screw. You press from uh, the leg and you twist your knee a little bit. Okay? You press your, foot, your leg, feel the nine point touch. You press firm and you screw from your knee a little bit. And you feel that you are screwing to the ground. You have a very strong connection to the earth. So this one clockwise this way. And this one, this one. This, um, on the other leg, it counterclockwise. Okay. So in this way, when you screw like this, you're actually opening your quad. And when you, when you go like this, your quad go this way, but when you screw back half, half a screw, you feel this part open. You see? When I screw like this, my hip a little bit in, and I screw out a little bit, 
I can feel it pull away my bone here. Okay? And if I push my chi down, <sighs> I feel here it's more open. Okay? I feel here it's more open. So this is an ongoing training also. Okay? When you're standing there and do nothing, nothing to do, just press. Just press. Just press. Okay? Twin one leg and twin the other leg. Okay? You twin one leg and the other leg. And once you get this, when you screw the leg and, you, and the heel, now you screw the heel outward a little bit. The heel outward. And you put the chi down. See? You put the chi down to the dance. So you see here, if you too bend your knee too low, you hurt the knee. But if you spiral, the earth force coming up. The earth force coming up to you. So you spiral this way, spiral this way. Just no need too much. A little bit. You train them a little bit enough. Only a little bit. Okay? And um, so all the muscle, also very, it's a very strong muscle in our leg. Very strong muscle, very strong tendon. And um, the, the chi bell, you feel the chi. So all these things, you have to learn how to um, separately. You have to start it to do, we're going to do the chi ball. It's just like you have a chi. You inhale, when you exhale, you down. You're pushing down the chi ball. Okay? And you turn, you feel a chi ball are moving. And when you push out, you feel a chi ball are pushing out. You sink back, you feel a chi ball are sinking down to you. Okay? So the chi ball is the inhale, exhale, you press the chi ball. And you're holding the chi ball in here and inside here, inside you. Okay? So the chi ball, apparently, is a very important. Press with the chi ball. You press with the chi ball. Actually, your dantian feel with chi, you compress it, you get a lot of force. Okay. Now, we're going to apply all these things into the form, but you have to be, think about it. The rooting, the stentiness, the dantian, the drawing the chi down. So always think about your dantian here. The dantian power. Okay. Dantian power is very important. So uh, we're going to do the Tantian and the structure. Structure will already do that. Okay, the structure. So the structure. Um, so the structure, you see, you're standing. The structure, you screw a little bit out and I'm pushing here. Okay. So you feel the structure. If I if I loosen the the, the, the screw, I fall. But when I when he so, so you see if he push me, I screw out a little bit. Yeah, push me. I screw out a little bit. You see. So my leg, I go down to the ground. Okay? When I loosen the, the screw, I fall this way. Okay. So the knee. And the, um, so you have the structure. And the same thing when you're standing. We call standing like a mountain. You see, if I do like this, I fall. If I round my, I tuck my sacrum, round my back, and I sink down, I stay. You see, it's very different, you know. Just a little bit changes the way your mind and your tension and the power, you ground it or you float it up. Okay? So, if I go like this, I gone. If I go like this, I also go. You see, it, every force go to my neck. Okay, or I stick my neck like this, all the force go to my neck. Okay, 
and I cannot hold it. But if I, number one, sing down a little bit, tan tian down, and shoulder down. In this way, I get grounded immediately. Okay, so that is the very simple. If you understand the theory, you get the grounding. Okay, and um, and we did this already. Okay, power. That's it. Get equal, and you get the power. Okay, and this one. Get equal. If if I elbow up like this, I go. If my elbow down, I hold. You see? So that is the very simple, you know, no difficult. If you do it right, you can feel the force. Because this is structure. Okay? This is the structure. So when you get the structure, you get the power from the ground. If you get the structure, the force go into your structure and break your structure. You break your structure and you have no more structure. Very simple. Okay? And um, so you see here, the force from the ground come up. He force push me, I transfer to the ground. And the force from ground come forward up to him. So he back and forth like that. And um, the same thing in here. The big. So when I like this, I cannot stand it. But if I like this, you see, if I stand, sing, rao, tan tian, and I get the power. Now the structure is connecting to the earth. Otherwise, he force come in and broke my structure. Because my structure not aligned with the earth. So the alignment we already do so much is second like the tack, lumbar like the round, and the sec and, and the whole spine a little bit tension. Round. Chest sing a little bit and chin push. In like this, you're in a good structure. Okay? Okay. So you stand in the um, Tai Chi position and you put the hand here, uh, the sacrum, on the sacrum. So you inhale, exhale. You tuck in a little bit and you push back a little bit. Okay? And hold, hold the sacrum and feel the power go to the ground. Okay? Very important. Sacrum is the lotto of the boat. If you don't get it right, you have no, no balance. Okay? Because it's a very important balance. So the next one is the T11. You see? So you also can use the same, you see? Inhale, exhale. You see how you're going to, it's the, exactly what you do. Push. So you inhale, relax. Exhale. You press your leg and you push the lumbar out. And this is, you get the jing power. And you relax, you see? This is very important training. If you get this, you get a very strong spine. The tendon is so strong and powerful. Okay? And we come up. So you see here, you have to push from the leg up. Now, the leg, if you don't push the leg, you cannot get the power. And um, back here, with palm. This is the same, you see, inhale. Exhale, you press your leg and you tighten your, your spine. <laughs> And you relax. Exhale. And you do the same, everyone, you see? You do the same here. The same time you push the ground and you push back and you push out. It's, it's a bouncing form that like you hit the ball to the, to, to the wall, boom, you bow back. It's the same force. It's the same bouncing force. Okay? So the force, you press the ground, transfer up to the spine, the spine push back up, and the hand push out this way, and you get the force that way. Okay. So, um, so the same movement, you see all the movement you do on the T11. Okay. Okay. So, you see, you relax, you see, but now when you push the power from the leg,
and you feel the power, okay? Your spinal cord must have power, otherwise Tai Chi no power. This is the drying trend. This is the drying trend. If you have no power in the spine, you have no power, okay? And the best of the skull. So um, it's the same again. It's the, 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 the training, you see? When I, when I go like this, okay, I intentionally show you. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. So uh, you train your whole spinal cord become so strong. Okay. And this is what uh, we call the transmitter of the, uh, of the drying, the, the shaft. They are drying everything. Okay. So the power transfer from the ground and go to the spine and go to where, where they need to go. Okay. You cannot put the wall like this. <laughs> the, but that touch only. You have to touch the whole spinal cord to the wall. Okay. Or you're on the floor. When you're on the floor, it's the same. When you're on the floor, you see here, when you're on the floor, you press your leg, you press the leg, you see, press the leg, affecting my crown, okay? How my, my, the feet affecting the crown. So you see here, I lightly press my, I just push my leg, my crown, I'm moving. You see that? It's affecting my crown. That is so simple, but sometimes we don't think about that. Because our feet, the feet, all the weight of the crown or the head are stacked on the feet. So when I press like this, now the next one, when I press down to the, I press and I press my lumbar and my spine to the ground and I push out. The more I press down, the more I have force to go up. You see the point eh? So inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I have more force go up. Okay. We're going to do this um, chest. We call sing the sing the sternum. Okay. And the, um, because okay. So when you push me, if I go like this, I take all the force. Okay. I go. Now if I go like this, I sing down, and I sing my chest. Okay. So now he keep on coming to me. I keep on if Now he extend too much, and he go. Okay. He just you go. He go that way because he extend too over. Okay. Now the chest thing involves so much about all the tendon and ligament. It was so much. So if you don't do that, the the tendon ligament become too fragile. And we have very little doing that, especially when we're breathing less and less on the lungs. Okay. So, so you start with exhale, sinking, 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 and sit back, sit back, sit back, sit back, sit back. and relax, relax everything, and inhale, exhale. Sinking, 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 but without retreat yourself, okay?